In this video, we're going to go over how to calculate a sample mean um, z-score. So in the first one, we're going to use uh, um, a, score, a sample size of 4. For all of them, we're going to use a mean, or, yeah, a mean of 44, a standard deviation of 8, and a mu of 40. Okay, we're just going to use different sample sizes for each one of the um, ones here. So we're going to use a sample size of 4, 16, and 27. So let's start with um, 4, a sample size of 4. So the first thing we need to do is find the um, estimated standard error. All right, so we have um, standard deviation divided by the square root of n. So um, let's see here. So we have standard deviation is 8, right? and then um, square root of 4, right, for our sample size. So 8 divided by 2. So my standard error is um, 4, right? Okay. And then we throw that into our new um, z formula, right? So mean minus mu divided by standard error. So our mean is uh, 44, and our mu is 40. And we divide by, in this case, 4, right, for our estimated standard error. So 4 divided by um, 4. So our z is um, a positive 1.00. Um, okay, let's see how that changes when we increase the sample size. So again, first step, um, standard deviation divided by square root of n. Standard deviation is still... Um, 8, right? But now our sample size is getting bigger. It's 16, right? So now we go um, at 8 divided by 4. So um, our S standard error if the mean is um, 2, right? Okay. We then put that into our um, z formula, right? So mean minus mu divided by um, this, uh, it's going to be 2, right, this time. So um, mean is 44 minus 40, in this case divided by 2, 4 divided by 2, so we get a z-score. Look how much bigger our z-score is. Isn't that crazy? Um, still positive 2.0. Alright, our standard error is, um, or our z is um, 2 at this point. Okay, so now we have, um, let's see here, standard deviation again equals this standard error. Uh, a standard deviation divided by um, a square root of n. So we have, um, again, still 8 divided by a square root of, now in this case we have 27 as our sample size. All right, so 8 divided by 5.196. So it comes to um, 1.539. You can keep going out. I, I don't go out too much further than that, though. All right, let's put this in our z formula, right? Mean minus mu divided by our estimated standard error. Um, so let's go standard error. So um, again, 44 minus 40. In this case, um, divided by 1.539. So now we get um, a z of, it's going to be a high one, yeah, positive 2.59. Um, it's really big. So this is how you calculate a sample mean score. Again, it's, it's a two-step process, right? First, um, find this one, right, your standard error, right? And then once you have that, you notice this um, little circle with a M at the bottom. And keep in mind, some textbooks are going to go like this. That's okay. The X bar means the same thing. This one right here, right, whatever this number is, is going to be the denominator over here in your Z. And this is the equation that you really want is that Z. Um, okay, 